the end of the week. We thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Patrick McKee. I'm Jenna Zimton. Crews are out getting the roads ready and school delays are running at the top of your screen as people across the country are getting hit with winter weather. Take a look at some of this. The storms pounded parts of Utah, California, Colorado and other states as they made their way east, which Christina, it's 502 now and this morning. Many of us are waking up to clear driving conditions. That is some good news. Yes, VDOT is. is now looking ahead to the next winter storm expected to start in southwest Virginia tonight. We're seeing crews working around the clock, putting down brine mixtures and loading trucks with salt. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire. Time now is 5.04 and state and local crews across the Commonwealth will continue treating roads today. Public works crews in Tidewater began treating bridges and overpasses and will continue that. Crews in central Virginia are on standby but have stockpiled chemicals like liquid brine, salt and sand. Across Virginia, people went to local hardware and grocery stores getting supplies. One business Business in Norfolk sold out of shovels and ice melt. And don't forget you can download a great resource on your outlook all starting at 540. Jenna. VDOT and other crews are working around the clock getting ready for tonight's second round of snow. Now as you head out the door this morning you may notice those little white lines on major roads like interstates 581 and 81. That's the brine mixture that crews are putting down to pre-treat those roads. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire continues our team coverage live from Roanoke. And Aaron, we'll be seeing a lot of this out on the roads today. That brine, what exactly does it do? Parole. Two teens who investigators say lured a convicted sex offender to a Rockbridge County home and videotaped beating him are now facing charges. One of the boys posted the video on Facebook. He's facing charges of assault and battery and conspiracy. His friend is charged with conspiracy to commit assault and battery. The sheriff's office says it will serve those petitions today. The father of one of those teens, George Mason, is also charged with conspiracy and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The four suspects, WikiLeaks, denies that. Virginia will no longer do business with companies that discriminate against LGBT people. Governor Terry McAuliffe signed an executive order saying Virginia will not do business with groups who discriminate based on sexual orientation or gender identity. He says this order comes after hearing incidents of discrimination by businesses and others. I also believe the law. Good morning. Happy Friday to you. We thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Patrick McKee. I'm Jenna Zibton and crews are out getting the roads ready and school delays. We have some to tell you about. They're running at the top of your screen this morning as people across the country are getting hit with winter weather. The storm it pounded parts of Utah, California and Con We do have live team coverage as Southwest Virginia prepares for the first winter storm of 2017. Aaron Brookshire is live in Roanoke covering the roadways and what crews are doing to make sure everyone can get around this weekend. And Storm Team 10 meteorologist Christina Montori is in the Weather Center monitoring these two rounds of winter weather. Round one, over. Yes, round one is over and we have plenty of time to prepare for round two. We're not expecting round two to really push in until some delays. State and local crews across the Commonwealth will continue treating roads today. Public works crews in the Tidewater region will be treating bridges and overpasses. Crews in central Virginia are on standby but have stockpiled chemicals like liquid brine, salt and sand. Across Virginia, people going to local hardware and grocery stores getting supplies. One business in Norfolk sold out of shovels and ice melt. Mm, not two things you want to run out of right now. Reminder that SLS.com. A Danville man found guilty on six charges, including first-degree murder, will be sentenced today. The jury recommended a 50-year sentence for Samuel Moore in the shooting death of 26-year-old Turkey Smith in the 600 block of Cardinal Place last month. Two other people were also shot but survived. A Bedford County judge for January 24th. It's 606 in what's news today. First Lady Michelle Obama will deliver her final remarks at a White House event. Mrs. Obama will be honoring the 2017 School Counselor of the Year finalists and semifinalists as part of her Reach Higher initiative. The School Counselor of the Year is an annual White House tradition started by the First Lady in 2015. There will also be a panel discussion. The Salem Stampede Championship Road.
and 8 a.m. They started the powering up process yesterday, which takes about eight hours. So it is ready to go a little bit later this morning. You'll hear the whistle, I'm sure, sure throughout will. downtown Roanoke. Hollywood royalty gathers Sunday night for the 74th annual Golden Globe Awards here on WSLS 10. The best in TV and movies will be honored. The Tonight Show Jimmy Fallon is the host of the star-studded event. Yeah, I always get nervous no matter what. It's almost like just jumping into the pool and your body goes, you know how to swim. Yeah. Just trust me, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to swim. You know how to do You know how to do this. Without some of his Tonight Show staples, but plenty of his trademark energy, the Golden Globes air Sunday nights right here on WSLS 10, beginning with the red carpet pre-show at 7 p.m. You never know what's going to happen during these award this shows. Is so very true, <laughs> especially when Jimmy Fallon's around. Yeah, and if you can't catch the award show Sunday night, we'll give you the highlights we on Monday morning. All right, let's get back over to Christina now with an update on prison without parole. Two teens who investigators say lured a convicted sex offender to a Rockbridge County home and videotaped beating him are now facing charges. One of the boys posted the video on Facebook. He's facing charges of assault and battery and conspiracy. His friend is charged with conspiracy to commit assault and battery. The sheriff's office says it will serve those petitions today. The father of one of those teens, George Mason, is also charged with conspiracy and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The four suspects. Virginia will no longer do business with companies that discriminate against LGBT people. Governor Terry McAuliffe signed an executive order saying Virginia will not do business with groups who discriminate based on sexual orientation or gender identity. He says this 